backyard farmer pad here. Today I'm at my big brother Nigel's backyard again. And he has something new that I had to come and show you guys. So my sister-in-law Donna, she bought these awesome boxes, these blow boxes. She bought them on wayfair.com. But I absolutely love this. When you think about this, you can grow so many herbs and vegetables. This is actually ideal for like the small gardens. Say you're out of your space and you want to grow more herbs and vegetables and you have nowhere to put this, this is like a brilliant idea. So you guys know that I have my own grow boxes that I have on my side garden. They're almost identical to this, but maybe a little bit smaller. Um, here, she actually has brackets on each one. So if you come a little closer, you'll see the actual brackets on the side. So even though this might cost like $100, it's actually a lot cheaper if you can get this at Home Depot. You can get these grow boxes for like $15 at Home Depot. Depot, and then if you go to the hardware department, you can get brackets to attach it to the to the um, fence. The good thing about this, it's keeping it off the ground, so it's keeping all the little small rabbits and the small animals off it. And also, it it has a full sun. It's getting the full sun. So here she has her broccoli, her beautiful broccoli. It's almost summer. It's it's April in in South Florida, so you know it's already hot. But her broccoli is looking really beautiful. And over here, she has cucumbers. So what I absolutely love about this is not only does she have multiple cucumbers, but as the cucumbers grow, as they vine, she can just let them trellis along the fence. And what she can do is take, you know, you can take cord, you can take different things and tie it along the fence. So that is awesome. You won't have the cucumbers on the ground where, you know, bugs and insects can get it. The cucumbers are off the ground, so it's keeping the rodents away. It's keeping the different bugs and the caterpillars away. And then as, as these grow, you can see one right. Oh my gosh, look, she actually has a cucumber guy. Look at this, she already has cucumbers. That's a baby cucumber. So as time goes on, she can actually grow these. And you know that this is a cucumber. This is a female flower. You see, it has the actual cucumber in the back. So you can see the female flower. And then here's one that's a male flower. You, you can't, you, there's no cucumber. As a matter of fact, she has, I can see even more cucumbers coming out. What I love about this and what I'm gonna definitely try at home is now that I have my, my delicious, delicious sugar kiss cantaloupes growing, it looks almost the same. I still have, my cantaloupes are actually now vining and blossoming. So I think this is an excellent idea if you have something like cantaloupes or, you know, like small watermelons, this is an excellent idea to grow them in a box. And if the box isn't big enough, you can grow them in a large pot but, but beside the fence and then have it run along the fence. I'm gonna definitely try this for my sugar kids cantaloupe. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, until next time, let's plant, grow, and eat together. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this uh, video. If you wanna join me on my food growing journey, please hit the notify bell so you can see when more videos um, come out. Till next time, God bless and stay safe. Bye.